close fitting indoor headdress or hairnet right those are your definitions call see how it's pronounced <clears throat> coming from the old french word kale this is where you get the veil from covering head covering veil like a wedding i should have showed y'all like the wedding veil but um it's a quick little run through. What does it mean to be born with a cow? Rare event when the baby is born still inside an intact amniotic sac. <clears throat> um, the balloons out at birth. Unbroken membrane, blah, blah, blah. What's the symbolism? Folklore develops suggests possession of a baby's cow would bring bear good luck. So it's like a talisman, protecting the person from death by drowning. Uh, therefore, highly prized by sailors, medieval women often sold them to sailors. I don't know how they was often. You know, supposed to be rare and often don't really go together. Cow was regarded as a valuable talisman. <clears throat> you know, they used talisman in witchcraft. All right, what's the supernatural of a cow, superstition of a cow? A sign that a child would be lucky or achieve greatness or that would have a special power to resist evil. Mm, a cow was believed to seafarers to protect from drowning, prized as a talisman. Um, how rare is it? One in 80,000. Now notice it's called the mermaid birth. The mermaid birth or the veil birth veil, lifting the veil. We're going to get deep into it. But, um, one in 80,000. So that's rare. Gift wrapped, like soft bubble. I will show y'all the pictures, but it's probably not YouTube friendly. Um, yeah, it's like he's still in the amniotic sac. Um, <clears throat> how long can they survive in the cow? Uh, 25 minutes of life inside the intact side. Up to three years later, no effects from the unusual birth have been demonstrated. <clears throat> King James Bible. So it's in the Bible. Um, therefore be unto them as a lion, a leopard, observing them. Leave them as a bear. Uh, well, and will rend the cow of their heart. And they will devour them like a lion. The wild beast shall tell them. I said they said that's what the cow mean. I don't I don't you can that was kinda of for interpretation. What is a rare mermaid birth? <clears throat> Spanish twins, one in eight eighty thousand. Rare mermaid birth. Um, which occurs when amniotic sac does not burst during labor. So it's uh, the veil birth and cow. Basically like being born underwater. That's what they call it, the mermaid birth. Mm -hmm. um, you got the lotus baby, but that's uh, when the umbilical cord already cut. Mm -hmm. So that ain't, um, <clears throat> that's a different type of, uh, I guess, supernatural birth. Mm -hmm. um, 
for lack of better terms. Uh, what's another name for the cow? The mermaid birth or veil birth. Okay, you saying it, you know, flat out. What is a mermaid birth? Veil birth. Also referred to as mermaid birth. Baby and boy. Baby's born completely intact, amniotic, okay? So I'm guessing you 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 kind of see where I'm going with this, right? I mean, well, at least you get the cow at this point. You get to you get it on a basic level. You born. It's a mermaid birth, and you born in the in the sac, okay, in the amniotic sac. Uh, let's hit some images. Um, this is where your KKK come from. So I'm gonna do a part two to this. I'm gonna do a part two to this. Uh, show y'all some examples of of cows. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do some examples. Um. <clears throat> It's just some pictures. Uh, Rummage the cow. See, so you got it over his head. Um, historical superstition is about the cow. Um, nothing too graphic. Historical superstition is about the cow. And you see, dude got on the hood. <clears throat> this why you. This why all the cults wear hoods. This why all the religious doctrines have a. Head covering. Remember, it was for a woman. Them head coverings was for a woman. Um, okay, we got... I'm trying to find that article. On his ass. But yeah, that's basically why all the <clears throat> religions have a... Like, one religion wears a small, koofy-looking... Headdress. I don't even want to say their name. Um, you know, the roster man wear one. The Pope wear one. Um, Arabic people. You know, everybody got a, a something for their head. You know what I mean? Whether it's the Sheik, the Turban, the Kufi, the other ones. You name it. But um, you can read... T- <clears throat> Right, so people's taking them out to sea for like you couldn't, you wouldn't drown if you had one, uh, one of them cows, one of the hood. It's called a hooded, a hooded birth. Right, um, and you see the cow's history, strangest protective charm, and you see what what you got there, which. You know what I mean? I was telling you, it's, it's associated with witchcraft. Um, it's kind of... Uh, I'll break that down. <clears throat> I'll break that down. Let's, I'm going to get too far ahead of myself, but... Okay, you see, why is it so spooky? Why is it so spooky? Uh, feared throughout human history, the legendary cowbird. Uh, uh, the veil over the face. What is a cow bear? Um, a bag of water, right? You see what I'm saying? The bag of it's it's you submerged in water after you you alive, but you still within fluid, encased in fluid. You know what I mean? Uh, <clears throat> Born with a veil over the face. The calling of the cow. Look at this. He got the hood. You don't think he on something? The cow, the call of the cow. The cow bear searching for evil. Now, some say the cow bear would be the Antichrist. Oh, okay, what we got here? The Holy Hood. Witchcraft Museum. A membrane. Occasionally, child's by the cow, long been... See first. Okay, but you said say the witchcraft museum. Okay, so that kind of proves my point of what I'm talking about. How the cow is associated with witchcraft. Okay. All right, let's go back. Um, you got the cow bear searching for evil. I'm sure that book going. Okay, you got strong spiritual connection, protect from negative energy, good luck, 10%, deeper center. Okay, well, y'all can read through that on your own. Uh, the Secret of the Veil. <clears throat> That's where you get lifting the veil from. 
Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, now this is important. You can read through this. In cow is when you're in the whole bubble, the whole baby bubble. Just the regular cow is the hood. The hood, special gifts, uh, six cents. Yeah, y'all can pause and read through that, but you know, tales from the other side, secret diary of the cow girl. Notice it was a, it was a mermaid. Diary of a cow girl, okay? Mythology and magic, folklore, surrounded childbirth, uh, guessing dates, and gender, da, da, da. I don't even know if you can say that word anymore. Um, you can read that for yourself. That's why I really like to read sometimes. You might, you know, some of this stuff can't be said out loud. But let me go to pictures. Cowgirl, it's a mermaid. The veil between two worlds. That's what the cow is. The cow is the veil between two worlds. So they saying that the cow represent this world and the other world. Cow believed to be able to sense through both sides, have the power ability to foresee the future particularly prized amongst lawyers that uh, would allow them to win their trials. Wow. Um, move between human and non-human worlds. Okay. Um, skills highly valued by farmers. I guess that's a picture of an actual cow. I uh, hope I don't get a strike for that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so the cow girl is a mermaid. Lucky babies are born cool. Nah, cow. In the in the water. You seen it? Right, you saw them in the water. Um, you got a group called the Cowbirds. Born with a cow. Wikipedia or the cow, the owl, right? Moloch. You know, people uh you know, present people and youth stages of their life to Moloch, the owl, the cow, right? Um, you can read through some of this. They say it's an omen, a talisman for sailors, um, all through folklore. Um, the sea spell, right? Pause it and read through it if you really want to go into it, you know what I mean? Um, born behind the veil. I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a put some pieces together for, for for religious representation of it and that it represents the veil. This is where the witchcraft comes from. The veil, mm -hmm. the cow. And I hope you get an etymology lesson. You can pause mm -hmm. and read through that. How you see how it could be spelled one way and sound another. Understand your etymology. C A U L or C O W L can be pronounced C O H C O. You feel what I'm saying? You saw it when I did it at first. It was like C K O H, I mean. <clears throat> but just, okay, I don't want to get too deep into that. Um, you read some of the headlines. Now, what is the meaning of the cow and witchcraft? The ability to defend fertility mm, and the harvest against forces of evil. The cow baby will bring the bear of it good luck. Um, what is the folklore? Um, it was thought that the baby was incapable of drowning. Mermaid, incapable of drowning. Mm -hmm. Now look how they spelled it right here. C-A-W-L, call. Now you see what I'm saying from the word is Latin for within. That's etymology. Babies born in portion of the amniotic sac with cow in quotation marks. What does it mean to born with the shroud? You ever heard of the shroud of mystery? Born with the veil, the veil, lifting the veil. It's a channel called Lifting the Veil that's super, uh, super intelligent, super uh, deep in the depths, you know what I mean? I'll maybe post that. So you say C-A-W-L, call, bird, call. Okay. Uh, you see some of the titles. Beyond the Veil, Witches and Shamans, Myths. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Witches. 
So, um, you know, part two coming. Cause this, uh, I'm gonna take you for, I'm gonna take you for a trip on this one. Um, on code, man, like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Mm-hmm.